I mean, we can absolutely take a model back off the internet. We can like take, we can turn an API off. Um, I mean, the the question I ask is, are we mostly good, or is there a lot of malevolence in in the human spirit? From what I hear people using it for, at least the people I talk to, and from what I see on Twitter, we are definitely mostly good, but A, not all of us are, all of the time, and B, we really want to push on the edges of these systems. And, you know, we really want to test out some darker theories of the world. Hit the subscribe button to not miss the next video. Let's start. In an interview with Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, he discusses the misconceptions surrounding the organization when it was established in 2015, especially regarding the announcement to work on AGI, which was met with disbelief and mockery from some quarters. However, Altman believes that the company has come a long way since then and is now responsible for some of the greatest breakthroughs in AI technology, such as GPT-4, ChatGPT, DALL-E, and Codex. Altman also acknowledges the power that AI technology wields, which can either empower humans to create, succeed, and flourish or destroy civilization, intentionally or unintentionally. I'm sure it has all sorts of subtle effects I don't fully understand, but I don't perceive much of that. I mean, we're we're happy to admit when we're wrong. We want to get better and better. Um, I think we're pretty good about trying to listen to every piece of criticism, think it through, internalize what we agree with, but like the breathless clickbait headlines, you know, try to let those flow through us. Therefore... He emphasizes the importance of conversations about power, institutions, and political systems that check and balance this power and how it aligns with human values. Altman talks about GPT-4, describing it as a system that will be seen as an early form of AI that is slow, buggy, and not yet perfect, but that will eventually lead to something really important. He explains how OpenAI is measuring the success of GPT-4 by how useful it is to people and how much value and utility it provides to them. Altman discusses the complex process of creating GPT-4, including the neural network architecture, selection of data, and human supervision involved. Despite its maturity, he suggests that there are ongoing scientific discoveries and improvements to be made in this field. He emphasizes that AI progress is continuous and exponential, making it hard to pinpoint a single pivotal moment in the history of AI. Altman discusses the importance of building technology with user feedback, even though it means releasing imperfect products in public. He notes that ChatGPT's initial bias was not something he was proud of, but the latest version, GPT-4, has improved significantly. Altman expresses his desire for AI models to bring back nuance to the world and bring back some critical thinking that has been lost, particularly on social media platforms such as Twitter. Altman acknowledges the importance of AI safety and the rigorous safety evaluations and external testing that were conducted for GPT-4, and says that they have put a lot of effort into addressing them but admits that they have not yet achieved perfection. Altman also talks about the impact of GPT-4 on programming and how it has already changed the field within a week of its launch. They talk about the ability of GPT-4 to generate code and its iterative process of debugging, where you can have a back-and-forth dialogue to create the perfect code. Sam mentions the system card, document released by OpenAI which speaks to the extensive effort taken with considering AI safety as part of the release of GPT-4. They discuss how GPT-4 is trained on human data and feels like another human in terms of the kind of prompts you can use to get what you want back. However, they also discuss the difficulty of AI not providing harmful output, citing examples from the system card document and how GPT-4's output has evolved to avoid negative language. In terms of AI and its potential for achieving generalized intelligence, 
Altman believes that large language models have been able to achieve incredible things, but he believes that there are other important components needed for building artificial general intelligence, AGI. He notes that a system that cannot significantly add to the sum total of scientific knowledge is not a superintelligence. He mentions that there is still much to discover and invent before we can achieve AGI. Altman believes that AI can be a useful tool in extending human will and amplifying our abilities, but it is not a system that goes off and does its own thing. Rather, it is a tool that humans must wield responsibly, with great care and attention to the potential consequences of its actions. While AI can be incredibly powerful in certain domains, it is important to remember that it is only as good as the data and algorithms that it is built on. If we feed it biased data, it will produce biased results. If we program it with flawed algorithms, it will make flawed decisions. Therefore, it is crucial that we approach AI development and deployment with a clear set of ethical principles and guidelines. This includes ensuring that the benefits of AI are distributed fairly across society, that it is transparent in its decision-making processes and that it is held accountable for its actions. Overall, Altman's perspective is that AI has the potential to be a transformative technology for good, but only if we use it responsibly and with a deep understanding of its limitations and potential risks. Subscribe to not miss the next video.